A boutique it. owner has <laughs> called out Big Brother Ninja um, housemates over um, al allegedly refusing to pay for clothes she borrowed. She also shared screenshots of their chats to back up her claim. Mm. Well, no, you guys go. I think that at the end of the day, when it comes to like, I won't say that, um, I won't say it's a Nigerian thing, but when it comes to like professionalism, when it comes to selling stuff or being a customer and buying stuff, I feel like a lot of times things always, people always clash when it comes to that. Ella is like an influencer. She went to Big Brother Nigeria. I'm sure she has like followers and everything. Maybe she, I'm just saying, you know, maybe she purchased from <coughs> this um, boutique and in her that. mind, she was like that, me wearing these clothes and tagging this person, Maybe that is, you know, in influencing. Her That's what I'm saying. In her mind. Maybe she's like, I'm influencing. I like that she is in her mind. Because it's I'm just that if that's the case, that there's a madness somewhere. I'm bringing somewhere. traffic to your page. Traffic because call, I, you, go slowly. Because you can see now, she will ask her, what is the reason? She'll be like, oh, she's bringing you publicity, blah, blah, blah. Me, the publicity is me, enough me. payment. If that's the case, it should have been agreed, agreed. Upon, upon before. From day one. But and even for, for the for boutique um, woman or man, whoever is behind that page, um... Her message is contradictory because mm. she's saying um, she has not paid for borrowed clothes. clothes. I, I saw well, that. Me, are you? Is there a, yeah, an amount? To borrow my well, clothes. I know there is an amount they pay to borrow clothes Jones anyway. Clothes, Maybe yeah. that's what she's talking about. So she rented the clothes. And she returned like, the clothes and then uh, paid so, for the rental. She needs to tell us. Let's know at least. Does she, is she holding the clothes and the money? Or she has or at least returned, returned the clothes, the clothes and, and is the renter? But regardless, she's saying that you are owing her. And please, I beg, pay your basi in case you are really owing. And if you're not, this is the type of things that you need to come out and debunk. This is not the time to form silences for um, what they this call is it? Time when you mature people. Please, 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 we don't need maturity. And if you are owing, please pay. And um, exactly. I think I just want to relate this back to people who try to live above their means because in their head, I'm now a celebrity. I don't, My followers I, saw the clothes. They will come to your page. That's uh, your I payments. can't wear it again. Well, I, I if you like can't afford it, then you, you can't be living that kind of lifestyle. True. And maybe you should go back to your drawing board to understand mm. what else you can do to make turn your money. influence into money and then spend it the way you like you at the want. end of the day. Yeah. So I, I don't subscribe to this. And some of these boutique owners, I think this is not the first or second time we're having this type of yeah, conversation. So they that. need to also understand how the business works mm. and be sure that their terms and conditions are very clear before they get into this business. It won't be too much to say, payment. have a lawyer. I, I mean, it won't be too much to say that at this point. Yeah. And I even know a woman who does this type of borrowing thing her own is she's not even expecting you to pay for the borrowing, but she expects that you drop a certain amount of money that if and when you return the clothes and it doesn't look good and maybe you don't even return it at all, then you don't get your money back. No, but once no. you return the clothes, mm. you get the money back. So I think they need to put a some form of structure makes more sense. in their business to yeah. avoid all this, you paid me, you did not pay me, uh, drama. I don't understand it. Mm, basically, to me, I just feel like um, it's common among celebrities, especially yeah, um, the female celebrities. That Sorry, I'm not dragging female in this one, but when we see them being dragged, it's usually the female. It doesn't mean that you guys are not... Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe they are only just... I know just, them more. Maybe they are not just dragging them. them I understand. Mm. I'm just saying that, but when we see this happen, it's always a woman-to-woman -woman thing. Mm. The guy always chests it. I'm a guy. The guys but are coming for each other. They are doing uh, brothers. But anyway, food. let's let's go. But at the it's end of the day, I think um, the this fake life thing needs to stop. Yeah, and it's pressure. So you should stop putting pressure on your celebrities. <laughs>